Fish more, catch more. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, it's a little bit later on in the day. It's a beautiful day. It's around 10 a.m. and we're headed to Belleville. So let's go. Here we are. As you can see, I'm sitting passenger today. Usually I'm the one driving, so I let my friend do the driving today. Taking it easy, kind of. It was a really, really hot day. Uh, we're headed about an hour and a half to two hours out to Belleville, Ontario. And it's a beautiful spot. As you can see, it's the end of our ride close to. So, because you can see a lot of countryside near us. Not the best footage. I'll improve. And here we are. We showed up to our spot. It's at the Quinty uh, Construction Association. I found this looking through forums online. And as soon as we got there, my friend hooked onto the first fish. And it is a brown bullhead. As you can see, it's a nice little bullhead. And they're kind of fun to catch. So uh, he was really excited. I was really happy for him as well. And uh, we're going to be releasing this fish. Within, within minutes, he ended up catching a second one. And he's got uh, two hooks on his line. Both of them hooked on onto a snap swivel about 12 inches apart from each other. And below them, uh, another 12 inches is the weight itself. So as you can see, it's a really lively, uh, lively smallmouth as well. And I was really happy for him. Like, you know, when you go fishing with someone, even if they catch something, you're just as happy. And uh, right before I actually ended up throwing this in, I was feeling some nibbles. So I took it out, put on a fat, juicy worm. And you're gonna see me uh, throw it back out there, not too far, closer to shore. And there it goes, it drops in the water, it starts sinking, and it starts coming toward the shore. And I'm keeping my line slack a little bit so I can feel any type of play. And I did feel play. So there it goes. Yes, we hooked something on. As you can see, the rod tip is moving and it's putting up a little bit of a fight. My my line is really strong, so uh, the tackle might not be the uh, might not be the heaviest, but my line is really strong, so I was easily able to pull him in. This was not the uh, same bullhead, that's for sure. This was probably about a kilo, guys, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But you can see it's definitely been hooked before. It might even look like uh, it's kind of diseased. So I was using pliers just to make sure I don't get stung. You don't want to get stung by a catfish. So I was using pliers to try to hook it in his mouth. Grab it by its lip and wiggle the hook out so I could release this guy. Give it a couple shakes and there he goes. Not the best throw, but uh, he'll live. So yeah guys, we sat here for a little bit longer and we got out of there. Anyway, you can see we moved uh, locations. Now we're by the harbor front, uh, closer to the actual Bay of, Bay of Quinty. And uh, now we're just uh, trying our luck over here, seeing what we can catch on to. There was a lot of seaweed there. If you guys want, you guys can definitely check this out. It was a really hot day, so maybe our luck wasn't the best, but uh, you can see we're definitely still pulling out fish and there was a lot of seaweed this is a yellow perch in case you guys were wondering uh, and uh, these are really actually tasty fish but uh, we weren't really thinking of keeping them and they were really really tiny anyway and uh, the heat and 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 the water condition we weren't too uh, happy with that either so uh, if you guys want uh, ice fishing season is coming up uh, i would recommend you guys get out there you guys won't even have to go out too far uh, even closer to uh, the shore, you guys can get out there, uh, drill a couple holes or or hand dogger a couple holes and uh, try your luck ice fishing. And uh, I can almost guarantee guys, like my first ice fishing trip was at the Bell, uh, was at, it was in Belleville and I hand augered a couple holes and I managed to pull out a few uh, perch easily. So I'm pretty sure you guys can do the same. And there it is guys, there's another perch. And uh, we actually stayed here for a little bit. We hooked on to more than more perch than uh, we actually have on video, but uh, we're releasing all of them. And uh, yeah, we just uh, I don't I don't usually I don't always turn on my camera, which is my fault. I should have captured everything. Anyway, we changed spots. We went to a new location. As you see, there's a family there, and we spoke to them, and they told us uh, that this side would not be the best side to fish on. So we listened and took the advice of locals, which I suggest you guys should do as well when you guys go out there. And they told us to head over to the other side and they had seen people catching fish over there. So we took their advice and definitely made our way over there. And as soon as we got there, uh, lo and behold, 
there you go. We're on. And uh, maybe you guys can tell from the fight what kind of fish it is. Or maybe it'll give it give a, give it away anyway. But you can see it's pulling. I got made a nice little jump. It's pulling, pulling, pulling. And it pulls itself right inside some rocks. You can see I'm trying to get it out. Uh, thankfully enough, we're close to where we were fishing. It was really very accessible. Even if it did get stuck in the rock, I would be able to pull it out. But you guys should be able to see it right about now as I pull it out. There it goes. Boom, I got it out. Yeah, and it was a nice little smallmouth. However, it was also very beat up. Uh, did not look very healthy. Uh, looked very slim. It might have been due to the extreme heat that we were facing. But anyway, I was just starting to let it go. We had just run out of worms too. Uh, most of our worms actually died just from the heat. You can see how my friend is dressed. Uh, we were trying to avoid getting burnt. We were trying to avoid... Uh, avoid getting scalded by the heat. Uh, maybe some of you guys may remember this summer how it was. So because we ran out of worms, uh, you guys can see in a minute, I'll show you guys the worm buckets. Didn't get a better shot, but we were definitely out of them. My friend switched over to a tube on the same rig that he was using. And guess what? He hooked on to another smallmouth. And this is definitely not the same one. This is a better condition, um, a bit more healthier fish. Anyway, we had a blast, guys. We caught more fish, but didn't get it on camera. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Take care.